once we discovered that we had all the material that we needed to make a concert, to make a, a concert that runs as a show, um, I think that became the brief to make to to represent that so concert as as you would represent a show today. Um, and so, in order to do that, we went about mixing it in the in a modern way. It was all balanced in Pro Tools rather than spreading everything out on an analog console, which is how it would have been done in 1987 or 88 when I think the original production started. The original recording was made on two-inch analog tape because there was a, a lot of channels. They had two machines, two 24-track machines, synchronized with time code. The first challenge was really to find the material. Um, and having located some of it, we then set about baking the tape because over the tapes are over 25 years old and the and over that period of time the tape becomes unstable the glue that holds the magnetic material to the backing of the multi-track tape becomes unstable so in order to stabilize it you have to put it in a, a laboratory oven for three around three days at about 65 degrees centigrade and cook the tape what's actually on the tapes is are all the individual um, microphone recordings that were taken from the stage on during that show. So the, the bass drum is on a separate track, the snare drum is on a separate track, all the keyboards have their own channel, the vocals have their own channel. Slipping the clippers, slipping the clippers One of the things that was an absolute joy was that the um, the original recording uh, the original recording was so beautifully executed. The analog characteristics of the recording, i.e., the subtle compression that happens with um, with analog recording, and and actually the background noise that you, you get as well has an impact on your listening experience. All of that was faithfully transferred into into uh, the digital recorder. And um, and we we set about preserving that characteristic as much as we could. Nowhere in the corridors of pale green and grey, nowhere in the suburbs in the cold light of day, there in the midst of it, so alive and alone. My favourite performances is the is Mercy Street, which I think is um, well. Is, I, I adore the song anyway, and um, and I think that particular performance is really very expressive, in it. and I think that song came out really well. The other one, I, the song I really like, which was a complete surprise to me, and I, I don't think I'd heard it before I started mixing this project, was um, Family in the Fishing Net. And that, um, that kind of grew out of, it was, it was lovely to mix, I'd never heard it before. During the mixing process, one of the crucial things is to get the, your, your monitoring environment comfortable. 
and understandable. So I, I would have a surround uh, array that were Mackie loudspeakers. And then for the stereos, I would have a pair of, a little small pair of Oratone speakers, which are horrible sounding, uh, very limited in frequency response, but give you a sense of how the production is going to sound on a television or uh, on a little small system. Um, and then in Peter's studio, he has uh, the B&W Nautilus speakers, the big ones. I'm not sure what the model of them is, but they sound huge. <laughs> and those, so uh, and in fact, they sound like a PA in many ways, like a really beautifully tuned PA system. And um, so I would use that for big, loud listening to get a sense of what was going on truly with the bottom end. Roll forward 25 years, and Peter is going to be taking the So tour back out on the road, and I'm going to be mixing that show. So for me, having done, having mixed this uh, this film, has been incredibly useful because I've been able to absorb the shape of the show and understand how the songs are put together, and and have had feedback from Peter as to how he likes it to sound. From a technical point of view, it's a bit more involved than it was back in 1987. There are a few more channels, I think we're up around 64 lines coming off the stage at the moment, and counting. Um, yeah, so this is going to be very, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to it. The same